If you've ever played a video game, you've experienced how reality works. Here's the proof. The Cosmic Code. What if I told you that right now reality is buffering? Stop scrolling. In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to show you something in your room that proves reality is a computer program. In 2024, scientists discovered something impossible. That static you sometimes see in the dark? It's not random, it's code, the universe's source code. And you, watching this, you might just be the root user with the admin account. 1. The Universal Operating System If you've wrapped your head around zero-point energy, get ready for the next level. What if that quantum buzz we discovered isn't just energy, but actual computational instructions? Imagine finding out that the static on an old TV isn't just noise, but a broadcast from the universe's mainframe. Think of it this way. If zero-point energy is the universe's power supply, what we're discovering now is its operating system. And just like Windows 95, it occasionally needs a reboot. We call those supernovas. But unlike your old PC, when the universe crashes, it creates new dimensions. Talk about a feature, not a bug. Imagine trying to explain your smartphone to a caveman. Now imagine that caveman trying to explain it to an amoeba. That's roughly where we stand when it comes to understanding the universe's source code. We're the amoeba folks, and quantum mechanics is our smartphone. Let's break this down into something your consciousness can compile. In our last episode, we learned space isn't empty. Well, hold on to your qubits, because each of those quantum fluctuations might be carrying actual information, like the universe's version of binary code, except instead of ones and zeros, it's running on quantum superpositions. Think of these fluctuations as the universe's data packets constantly pinging back and forth across the cosmic network. When we talk about quantum superposition, we're talking about nature's most efficient compression algorithm. A single quantum bit can exist in multiple states simultaneously, making our best compression software look like it was written in crayon. Here's a glitch in reality you can try right now. Look at your hand. Close one eye. Focus on a specific point. Wait for it. Did you notice how your peripheral vision started to fade? That's not just your eyes getting tired. You've just witnessed reality rendering in real time. When you're not directly observing something, the universe doesn't waste processing power on rendering it fully. This is directly related to the quantum principle of observation. Say hello to the observer effect and the quantum wave collapse. Or as ancient wise men call it, present moment. 2. You are the debugger. Plot twist. We're not just watching the simulation, we're fixing its bugs. Think of yourself as a cosmic programmer, where your thoughts are like lines of code affecting the universe's output. The double slit experiment? That's you running a system check. Meditation. That might be the universe's maintenance mode. Just like a computer needs downtime to defragment its memory, meditation could be fine-tuning the structure of your reality, making sure your consciousness is in sync with the cosmic operating system. Now let's try a little experiment. Do this. Fast. Think of a number between 1 and 10. If you thought of 7, you just proved consciousness is quantum. Here's why. Studies have shown that when asked to think of a random number, an unusually high percentage of people choose seven. This seemingly trivial fact actually demonstrates a fascinating quantum property of consciousness. Just as quantum particles can exist in superposition until observed, your choice existed in a superposition of all numbers until you mentally observed it by making a conscious decision. The bias towards seven might be a glimpse into the quantum nature of our decision-making process. 
but even if you didn't choose seven, you've still participated in a quantum event. The very act of making a choice collapses the wave function of possibilities into a single reality. You're not just playing the game, you're actively shaping it with every thought and decision. 3. The Cosmic Cloud Space with its dark energy, dark matter, gravity, ether, it's the ultimate cloud server where every point is both storage and processor. No loading screens, no buffering, infinite capacity. Like every atom is a data center, but make it quantum. And you're not just accessing this cosmic database, you're part of its storage system. Look up at the night sky. You're not just seeing stars and space. You're watching the universe's data feed in real time, streaming cosmic information from every direction. Gerard T. Hooft, Nobel Prize Physics 1999, and Leonard Susskind, Stanford String Theory pioneer, cracked it. Our 3D reality is just upgraded 2D data, running on the universe's quantum processor. Those black holes aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners, they're more like nature's ultimate data servers. When stuff falls in, it's not game over, it's just getting converted to a different file format. This brings us to one of physics' most heated debates, the black hole information paradox. It's like trying to clear your browser history only to discover the universe keeps receipts, permanently. We're talking about data that's literally woven into space-time's source code. Not even black holes can permanent delete. And if it wasn't enough, the universe might be running on its own version of high-speed internet. Instead of fiber optics, it's using quantum entanglement. Particles sharing data instantly, no matter how far apart. Zero latency, infinite bandwidth, no cables required. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. But maybe he just wasn't familiar with quantum networking protocols. Maybe if he had tried DMT before checking out, he might have seen past the classical physics firewall. Now pause the video and look at any object in your room. In three seconds, I'll show you why it's actually made of code. That object you're looking at? It's not solid, it's mostly empty space, held together by quantum fields that are constantly fluctuating. These fluctuations aren't random, they follow precise mathematical patterns. That same object exists like a next-generation render in reality's game engine. Where software uses computer code to build 3D models, the universe uses quantum algorithms to compile everything into physical form. 4. Hacking Reality So if reality is computational, what are the practical implications? Can we learn to hack the system? The answer might surprise you, we already are. Every time life evolves, it's essentially finding exploits in physics. Think of evolution as the ultimate patch update, constantly debugging the biological code to adapt to the latest version of reality. Photosynthesis? That's nature's most efficient solar charging algorithm. Bird migration? That's quantum GPS. And your sense of smell? Quantum tunneling in action. And even when all this sounds like a pie of sci-fi techno babble, quantum computers may soon allow us to tweak the source code of matter itself. Replicator technology, here we come. But here's where human consciousness enters the game. From end users to root access, humanity's upgrading its permissions in the universal OS. Through quantum computing, we're learning to write new subroutines in the universe's native programming language. Think about the implications. If consciousness can collapse quantum wave functions, what else can it do? Are our thoughts actually quantum algorithms running on the hardware of reality? Is that how manifestation works? Déjà vu isn't a bug in reality's code. It's an undocumented feature. That weird, I've lived this before feeling 
could be your consciousness accidentally peeking at parallel saves in the universal cloud or tapping into the cosmic backup server for a split second. Dreams could be reality's testing environment. While you're offline, your consciousness breaks free from physical constraints, accessing the quantum developer's sandbox directly. It's like running diagnostics in safe mode for your slice of existence. When you're in that dream state, you're experiencing existence with some of the physics limiters switched off. That's why you can foresee intense events like losing a parent without the usual reality crash. You're running simulations in the universe's test environment. 5. The Simulation Hypothesis Upgraded We keep asking if we're in a simulation, but we might be missing the point. Maybe computation isn't something running our reality. Maybe computation is reality. The universe isn't using math. It is math, expressing itself through quantum calculations. If that's true, then every particle collision and every thought is just another line in the universe's script running in real time. In this view, a simulated universe isn't just possible, it's inevitable. The distinction between real and simulated might be as meaningless as asking whether numbers are real or simulated. But here's a thought that might keep you up at night. If consciousness is quantum, you're basically one process in a massive parallel computing cluster. Each version of you is running a different build of reality. One you pick pepperoni, another bacon, one sipping green juice, while another chose mango. Somewhere out there, there's probably a you that turned yourself into a pickle. Not the smartest timeline, but definitely the funniest. Keep this in mind. You're not just reading reality's code. You're actively contributing to its infinite vastness. Notice something glitchy in your simulation today. A pattern that seems too perfect? Drop your comments below. Your user reports could help us reverse engineer this whole reality thing. Here's your mission for the next 24 hours. Run some reality queries like manifesting a purple car. Start counting how many minutes or hours until you spot one and come tell us. Track those loading times. It's like watching for procedurally generated content in an open world game, except the game is everything. Bonus points if you spot two purple cars back to back. That's definitely a probability glitch worth noting. Wanna go further down the reality rabbit hole? Expand your consciousness. Listen to our micro-podcast, T. Olumen Insights. What is the deep state? Or jump into our Thomas Kuhn analysis, where we decode how science keeps upgrading its reality model through paradigms. Both streams now live.